Hi, today I want to talk about the Cricut Design Space and the kinds of text I can use to add to my rooster that I've picked. I'm going to go into the text and look at all the different kinds of fonts. I'm going to go up here into font that are stencils. So I've typed in the word stencil because I make stencils and I make signs and these are the choices that I have. It's just not too many. Let me kind of scroll down, but there are some, and so I'm thankful for those. There's a little scroll bar to give you a feel for how many there are. So we have the Blippo Corn Stencil. That is free with my $9.99 Cricut Access a month. The Doodle Type is another $4.99. See the pricing there? The Girly is free. The Ewan is $4.99. Martha Stewart is $6.99. Mondo is $6.99 and the other Mondo is also $6.99. Another kind of Mondo is $6.99 and the Wednesday stencil, that's this last one, see how they kind of jump around for you, is free. So there's a few free ones and there's several that cost. Wanted you to see that. So I picked the Wednesday stencil. Let's see it says Wednesday up here. And I put my farm fresh. I'm going to end up saying farm fresh eggs. I'm going to want to try and move this. I'm using my cursor to move it up, move the rooster down. And then I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to get back into farm fresh. And I'm going to try and curve that because that's a very popular item for me if I can curve those letters. So remember how we learned that in one of our other videos? See, I'm pulling this little bar over and it's turning the letter. See how it's doing that? Now if I pulled that little dot, that little bar back, it would turn the letters that way, which of course I don't want that. And this is all going to be free with my membership. So I'm kind of turning that. That looks neat. People like that. I sell a lot of that type of thing. Then I'm going to pull Mr. Rooster down so he doesn't get cut. I'm only going to be cutting, let's see if I can get him to move, there we go. I'm only going to be cutting the parts of the silhouette that I'm going to need. I also need to add the word eggs. I'm going to do that next. Now you can see where I've added the word eggs. And then I'm going to go to make it. And this is where it gets a little tricky. This is one of the things I don't like about the design space. It's going to uh, put my mats, three different mats it wants to do, and I don't want to do it that way. So here's my farm fresh eggs, but there's nothing I can do about it. Just want you to see this. If you click on the other mat, it gives me the exterior on that rooster on the fence. If you click on the third mat, it gives you what I want. That's that nice, clean, old fashioned silhouette. So I'm going to end up using mat number three. I'm going to have to position it, count the inches, position it about yay, and you can see what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go to mat number one, and I'm going to have to try and put that in the exact space and hope that that cuts correctly. Okay, now you can see that the Farm Fresh Eggs has come out, and it's a nice stencil, but I still have not placed the rooster on the fence. That's the hard part. i got to get him right in the middle. That's next. Okay, so now we have figured out how to place the rooster, and the rooster is now placed right in the middle. Now that took some figuring. I don't really like the way the software works, and unfortunately, I'm going to take you back up to the screen. When I want to go make that again someday, the cuts are still placed in the wrong place. Uh, that's the difference between the Cricut design space and what we're going to do next on the brother with that stencil that we just created. Okay, so here's our finished product. Here's our farm fresh eggs, which is not too bad. I actually will be able to sell these, but, but I like this a lot better. So I have some ideas about what we can do. So first I'm going to take that other stencil that didn't turn out quite the way I wanted but still is pretty good and I'm going to put it in the brother scan and cut scanning mat and I'm going to scan that into the system and save it so I'm going to put this into the brother scan and cut I'm going to tell it to scan 
scan to cut data and that's going to go into the memory of the brother scan and cut this is using cricut images putting them into the memory stick don't forget about the memory stick which can hold so much and getting that into the brother now okay so that's now into the brother and remember i've already talked with the cricut people and they've said that you can sell up to 10,000 images of projects that you're making including stencils per year and now i'm going to take the image that i prefer and try scanning it into the brother and there's our finished product we were able to get it from the cricut to the brother and get it into the retrieval system i already received permission and you have it too from cricut to use 10,000 projects and resell them thanks for watching